Look up, way up, past the clouds, past the stars, past the galaxies. What is all of this for? Does the universe in all its vastness and complexity have a purpose? It's a question that has haunted humanity since we first gazed at the stars. The universe is a source of endless fascination and mystery. It is a place of beauty and wonder, and it is a place that continues to challenge our understanding of the world. This question of a universal purpose is deeply human. We search for meaning in our own lives. It's natural to extend that search outward. To the cosmos itself, we seek a reason, a cause, an ultimate goal for all that is. But the universe, unlike our human lives, operates on scales of time and space that defy comprehension. Does this vast cosmic arena hold a purpose or is it simply an elegant, indifferent machine? Let's explore these questions, diving into the heart of this mystery. The universe is everything, all matter, all energy, all space and time. Science tells us it began with a Big Bang, an unimaginable explosion of energy. From that primordial soup, stars, galaxies, planets and ultimately life arose. This view, though awe-inspiring, doesn't offer a purpose, only a history. Philosophers approach the universe differently. They see it as a canvas for meaning, a stage for existence. Some see purpose in its very existence, in the delicate balance that allows life to flourish. Others see the universe as a blank slate, its purpose determined by the beings that inhabit it. Whether we view the universe through a scientific or philosophical lens, its grandeur is undeniable. The sheer scale, the intricate interplay of forces, the emergence of complexity from simplicity, all hint at something profound, something beyond our immediate grasp. The universe, despite its vastness, operates on principles of order. The laws of physics, elegant and precise, govern the dance of particles and the formation of stars. Gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces, they all play their part in this cosmic symphony. These laws intriguingly seem finely tuned for the existence of life. Change one constant even slightly, and the universe as we know it could cease to be. Stars wouldn't form, planets wouldn't coalesce, and the delicate balance needed for life would be shattered. This apparent fine-tuning has led some to see purpose in the universe. Is it mere coincidence or is there a deeper reason for this delicate balance? The question remains open, a tantalizing puzzle for physicists and philosophers alike. Stephen Hawking, one of the most brilliant minds of our time, argued that the universe needs no creator. In his view, the laws of physics are sufficient to explain its existence. The universe, he argued, could simply have come into being, springing forth from the quantum vacuum. Hawking saw the universe as a self-contained system governed by the laws of physics. He did not see a need for a divine creator or a preordained purpose. The universe, in his view, simply is. It exists because the laws of physics allow it to exist. This view, while elegant in its simplicity, doesn't satisfy everyone. Many still find it difficult to accept that something as vast and complex as the universe could arise without some underlying reason, some deeper purpose. The anthropic principle takes a different approach. It suggests that the universe's properties are fine-tuned for life because we, as observers, are here to observe it. In other words, the universe must be capable of supporting life, otherwise we wouldn't be here to ponder its purpose. This principle doesn't necessarily imply a conscious designer, but it does suggest a deep connection between the universe and the life it harbors. It raises the possibility that life, in some form, is an inevitable outcome of the universe's evolution. The anthropic principle, while intriguing, has its critics. Some see it as tautological, merely stating that the universe is the way it is because we are here to see it. However, it remains a thought-provoking idea, prompting us to consider the relationship between the observer and the observed. The concept of a multiverse, a vast ensemble of universes, adds another layer to the question of purpose. If our universe is just one of many, does purpose lie in the grand scheme of the multiverse? Or is each universe a self-contained entity, its purpose or lack thereof unique to itself? Multiverse theories, while speculative, offer a vast canvas for exploring the nature of reality. They suggest that our universe might not be unique, but rather a single instance within a much larger cosmic tapestry. 
If the multiverse is real, it challenges our understanding of purpose. Is there a grand purpose overarching all universes, or does each universe have its own purpose, independent of the others? The multiverse, if it exists, deepens the mystery of existence. The quantum realm, the world of subatomic particles, introduces uncertainty into the equation. In this realm, particles exist in a state of superposition, being in multiple states at once. The act of observation collapses these possibilities into a single outcome. This inherent uncertainty suggests that the universe may not have a fixed purpose, but rather a range of potential purposes, constantly unfolding and evolving. The purpose of the universe, from this perspective, might not be predetermined, but rather shaped by the interactions of its constituents. Quantum mechanics, with its emphasis on probability and uncertainty, provides a framework for understanding a universe that is not static, but constantly in flux. Purpose in this context might not be a fixed endpoint, but rather a dynamic process, constantly being defined and redefined. Some theories propose that the universe itself is conscious, a self-aware entity. This cosmic consciousness, they argue, is not localized, but pervades all of existence. The universe, in this view, is not merely a collection of matter and energy, but a thinking, feeling entity. This idea, while highly speculative, resonates with ancient spiritual traditions that view the universe as alive and imbued with consciousness. It suggests that purpose might not be something imposed from outside, but rather an intrinsic quality of the universe itself. The concept of a conscious universe raises profound questions about the nature of reality. If the universe is aware, what does it think about? What does it feel? And what is its ultimate purpose? The question of the universe's purpose might ultimately be a question of meaning. Does meaning reside in the physical universe itself or does it come from something beyond, something transcendental? Is it something we discover or something we create? Human beings have an innate desire to find meaning in their lives. We seek purpose in our work, in our relationships, in our very existence. This search for meaning extends naturally to the universe itself. We long to understand our place in the grand scheme of things. The search for meaning, whether within or beyond the physical universe, is a deeply personal journey. It is a journey that has no right or wrong answers. Only individual perspectives shaped by our experiences, beliefs and aspirations. And... Quantum mechanics suggests that the act of observation plays a role in shaping reality. The observer in this view is not merely a passive recipient of information, but an active participant in the creation of reality. This suggests that we, as conscious observers, might have a role to play in shaping the purpose of the universe. This idea is both empowering and unsettling. If our observations influence reality, then we have a responsibility to choose our observations wisely. The purpose of the universe from this perspective might not be predetermined, but rather something we help to shape through our actions and choices. The power of the observation, if real, implies a profound interconnectedness between ourselves and the universe. We are not separate from the universe, but rather integral parts of it. Our purpose, then, might be intertwined with the purpose of the universe itself. Does the universe have a purpose? We don't have a definitive answer. Science offers explanations of how the universe works, but not necessarily why. Philosophy provides frameworks for understanding meaning and purpose, but ultimately the question remains open. Perhaps the universe's purpose is not a fixed endpoint, but rather a journey, a process of continual unfolding and becoming. Perhaps purpose is not something to be discovered, but rather something to be created, something we define through our actions and choices. The question of the universe's purpose is an invitation, a call to explore the mysteries of existence, to ponder our place in the cosmos, and to find meaning in the face of the unknown. The answer, perhaps, lies not in a single definitive solution, but in the ongoing quest to understand the universe and our place within it.